what's up guys this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Bavaria and in this episode we're about to smash the garrison of Neroon so let's take them on the army is quite heavily depleted and I think the end is very much near for the garrison here uh, we want to keep up pressure against the Mughals from all directions and I think we are doing that we're doing that quite successfully we're smashing them around the north near Lahore we've still got a bit of fighting to do um, but I think we could potentially wrap that up this episode. So the northern front will be smashed. They'll have to draw more troops from the south. Then we will be able to tear through their back line. Bit of a bad spot for my artillery. I suppose back here. Deploy them here, then lob shells over the city. Try and keep the bulk of my infantry out wide with my skirmishers and my hussars and lancer guards. Then my grenadiers plus my heavy cavalry can try and push through the town. I suppose the intention would be to not. Don't not to not necessarily expect them to win, but to hold their own. Because the main striking power will definitely be my line infantry formations. And my cavalry to push up. Yeah, I hear quick climb. If my grenade if my um grenadiers can hold the town, my heavy cavalry can push up the left. Look at that some Oh god alive. I have to push it up just a little bit further than that. Send my cavalry in against the desert warriors. Let's see if we can knock out a potential threat on the flank before it becomes what well, allows me to get my uh, infantry mass on, on the right flank in against the proper targets. You guys are probably going to be fire will off. Oh. My own quick climb coming in. It's potentially very dangerous. Switch to round shot. Bombard the general's bodyguard. Push up my line to just next to the combat. Push my skirmishes around the right flank. Run my heavy cavalry in. Hold the choke point. I'm blasting us a shrapnel shot, but I'll have to do for now. Excellent. Run them down. Just get stuck in. Oh, they're blasting my in my uh, grenadiers. You men get involved. Skirmishes fire at will. Engage the bowmen. Ah, sound shenanigans, but the sentiment is correct. Uh, gunners engage the general's bodyguard. Push up my line. These units are going to knock out the artillery. They might get charged by the armed populace, but that's a disaster waiting to happen. Should just get stuck in. Don't bother getting into a shootout. Just uh, take them out. 
And he's in my light cavalry got a bit broken. So this engaged in a slugfest combat. Heavy cavalry go for the general. Go get him. This heavy cavalry is great for taking on elephants. Good stuff. And we don't need to chase anyone down because we're attacking a city. Excellent. I mean, we've already got plenty of troops nearby to help protect our new lands. There we go. Now we're starting to take him down. When they break, then they'll really be for it. I do not want to take him prisoner. I want to kill him. Dement my control over these lands. There we go. Nice. Obviously, there's an armed populace unit that's stuck around. But let's just speed up time a little bit. It's got a lot of fights to do. How about you? Nice. Could chase them down, but a bit redundant. This is a very elite army as it is. Nice. That's Narun taken. We pushed them back completely from the West Bank. We have a naval hospital, which is that's an interesting proposal. Let's upgrade the infrastructure, replenish our troops. It's in good shape, so I'm going to start building bithrates. Just to start sort of to maintain the pressure on their ports. So you're pushing down, everyone else is pushed out generally, except for Let's use Sigismund to attack Jazwant Bora. Force him back westward. So we are yeah, keep the pressure up. That's what we need. That's all you can do when you've got these larger empires that you need to take out. You can't ever really blitzkrieg them just because they can bog you down so much with so many large chaff armies. You have to kind of slowly, methodically grind your way through them till eventually your force is just so much more powerful than theirs they can't even really resist. I've got a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen in this game. That is a great position for artillery. Swarm forward and surround. Okay, they're going to deploy fairly compact. Generally split my heavies and non-heavies up. There's pairs. Make sure the howitzers are focusing on what I want them to focus on. Don't really mind what my what artillery engages. Whatever it is, it's going to destroy it. Where's my grenadiers? Could potentially shrapnel all those camels, but I think I'm going to get into a bit of a pickle. Spin my heavy cavalry around to engage the camels. Camels are generally very good anti-cavalry, but not against not with heavy heavy cavalry they aren't. You managed to get a bog down fighting my line anyway. Spread this line out to get a bit more firepower. Still out of shrapnel range. Just keep bombarding. Maybe get my general involved on the right flank. I 
keep my cavalry active. Seek warriors. I do like seek warriors. I'm afraid they're just going to get gunned down quite badly here. Quick climb landing. Make ready. Present. Fire. Second rank. Fire. New men merge in and engage. Who are you? Keep the overriding principles of surround and destroy. So I think we've got a good shot here at destroying a lot of units. Ah, musketeers, kill them. There's not very many of them though. Okay, we can bring the grenadiers in to help plug this gap. upon okay go for the seeing musketeers first because they're quite ready and willing get my 24 pounders to keep blinking at the general's body bodyguard actually get all my artillery to focus nope all my artillery focus on the general's bodyguard I don't really want them shooting at my Lancer Guards. I want my Lancer Guards up here doing something more useful. Broken the mercenaries. Push on to seat musketeers. My general can chase down the mercenaries. You men commit to the fight. You men broadly advance, but I think we're in a good shot. We're in a good spot here to kill a significant portion of this army for good. No general's bodyguard, go for the mercenaries. Like you men go for the last two Kizilbashi. I'm going to just hit myself with Quick climb, a little bit. So I want those Sikh warriors first. Artillery, fire round shot, engage the general. Sikh musketeers are holding their own. But it won't be enough. Let's begin to speed up time. You need to keep. Yeah, these guys have split up, which isn't ideal. But here comes the cascade. And right, continue. Will you get those musketeers? There's only three of them. If I keep right clicking, they might stop to fight us. There we go. Everyone has Kizobashi unit because they've spread out. They're going to be super frustrating to kill. Oh, my artillery ceasefire. Might do some good work here. It's everyone against others. Oh, it's this last unit all the way over here. Bye bye. Damn right, it was decisive. Excellent. Oh, that was this one. I see. Excellent. So Sigismund. Try push up to the bridge. With Mr. Erlanger in support. You could potentially engage them, but I want to keep my lines solidified. 
slowly keep creeping out and we ask we are continuing to recruit more troops thank you yeah you're nearly done yeah our cot is exposed we've got some troops down here at mysore but how long will they go not committing them so i want to quickly check on here because you're done you're going to go up to Brixhaven where a fleet to you you're a good fleet yeah i suppose this fleet will pick you up and transport you over where are you going oh your mountain troops being recruited in scandinavia let's move this unit of militia over to assume because they are going to churn out some fifth rates how's your recruitment doing i might leave your recruitment alone a bit okay we don't need that heavy horse howitzer you don't have any skirmishes and you need some more interesting infantry although you are getting one unit of mountain troops you might even have two who've just not shown up yet because they're recruited all the way up here yeah is there a limit on how many of those i can make yes there is and then wilhelm schmied schmied schmack we need two units of heavy cavalry cuirassier hohenzollern good so i don't want to just kind of forget about what's going on over here <laughs> i do want to keep pushing because we've got we do have a a decent foothold but i think the next place i want to fight is up here so i think i want to take you mr goodman put you into a battle against one of these stacks drawn in a lot of troops but there's a significant amount of them are just absolute garbage i think it draws in this guy I think he is. Is he? Can't wreck it. More difficult to work out. Okay, I think the purple, purple turban denotes family members. So, although you might be, it might be you. Oh no, two family members, two half range, half stack armies. One of them is this guy. One of them is this guy. Cool. We have a huge amount of firepower, Lahore Biars, and that will be a significant blow to the enemy. And then we can... Well, all these large armies they've got uh, around the patch, they will start to get depleted. Then once India's secure, my god, it's going to be an enormous assault on the Americas, and that will likely fall rather quickly. So we're not going to be landing one army per city exactly, but we're going to be pretty darn close. Especially when we have two entire continents at our disposal. Right, let's get cracking. Load me in! <laughs> oh, die. Awkward terrain. Hmm. Infantry up front. So I want to try to capture this terrain feature because it gives us a reasonable field of fire all around us my guns we brought up behind the howitzers will also stay limbered up because don't the initial army we attack doesn't really have a lot of strength grenadiers and skirmishes follow up cavalry follow up i'm anticipating no one coming in behind us which is wrong oh it says up here mm, 
potentially not the end of the world, but potentially maybe. Probably drag one set of guns over here. You're going. Form another defensive line. It's only really our right that isn't exposed. Let's get my howitzer up, ready to shoot. One gun team probably deploy here, another gun team hold. Yeah, we can start engaging the general's bodyguard. Yeah, the cavalry is the scary one, because we've got two units of light infantry. Is, to be honest, you might just hold and limber up. Get the other house unit a reasonable distance away. Get to pull this unit back because their positioning isn't great. Send my cavalry to charge down the hill into that two man. All the U-Man cease fire. Maybe send my Freikor cavalry down here to take out the mortars quickly. Oh, it says quick climb Hindu musketeers. Okay, these guns are in position and limber. Excellent, pull back. Okay, just need to be a bit, just need to be wary. To be honest, one of these howitzers. We need, to, we need to kill or rout the mortar crew because we can't let them live because they can fire mortars on the move. I mean, like, look, the ghost mortars are still going. They're trying to shoot at us. Good hits. Okay. Just keep blasting that area with shrapnel shot. Use a Kizilbashi cavalry, so they will be able to fire. So can we. Take them out. Trap or shot the levy. Bring out my general. To receive enemy charge. We've got marines here, so that's not terrible. Send my trust the area in to kill the general's bodyguard once and for all. Get my hussars back up front. 
large enemy contingent pushing in. Our morale is superior. Chickens going off. Charge on into the enemy, you have the advantage. You okay, men form up. General, get involved in this fight here. Because again, we have the momentum. Everything carry on auto firing for now. Shrapnel shot on the levy. Ooh. I thought they were telling me my general had fallen. Marines storm that Hindu musketeer square. Okay, you're going to position here, and we're going to slightly pull back so I can get more firepower in the center. Pull back, SARS pull back. General withdraw. Excellent. You're not really the best position for shrapnel shot, but whatever. Push up my fray core. Actually, screw pushing up. Ah, they've worked it out. Smash through, attack the artillery. Attack the levy, human attack the dervishes. they've attacked the gun crews of the 18th because they missed don't clip the infantry artillery unnumber keep attacking the artillery kill the crew we're losing a couple of men to this because of this but I want to kill the crew because I want them to be excellent. Withdraw. Trap will shot the Ahadi. Superior firepower of the Europeans is kicking in. Then everyone's engaging. Oh, good shrapnel hits. Starting to flank her around rather than engage my reinforcing army head on, my reinforcing position head on. Shrapnel the levy. Good hits. Engage the artillery. Oh, here comes the Ahadi. Form square, fusiliers. Form square and rely on my light cavalry to save you. I mean, you might have advanced into Ratnall position. Miss. One.
Excellent, you had your broke. Get the fusiliers out of square. Blast the levy. This how it's unit begin engaging that levy. Yeah, this is what I mean by sometimes when they bring an army of chaff, you're never you're not super bothered. Withdraw. Actually, my cavalry is going to smash into those Kizobashi. Canister the levy. Because shrapnel is a bit more problematic. This canister kind of arcs a little bit. Back you go. Put my heavy cavalry in, into these kids. Actually, should be quite devastating. Come on, kill a few more. Shattered, good. Get out of there. Oh, they're coming back. And it's a shot. What's the ammunition state like? Generally okay. Some of them are a bit weaker than others. Probably try wide a bit more how it's a support. Hit them with shrapnel, you seem to miss less. You're firing high. Aim for the Kizzle Bashy. I should go for the Gurkhas with you. Sure, my fray core is fire it will off. Especially now they fired. Charge the two fangy. Continue the charge. They haven't lost enough men to justify routing it. Charge through into that unit of two fangy. You'll kill however many you kill on the way. to the original charge. Okay, we might be about to get bogged down. Keep killing them. Gurkhas are going around the flank. Actually, I might in that case. If I guess, actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's get my fry caught out. Because they are more... I mean, my heavy cavalry can just sit there slugging it out as long as they like. Actually run my heavy cavalry up and around, as it looks like. We've broken their strength from that reinforcing army's perspective. Hit the bowman on the flank. How about you? God, that guy went absolutely... <laughs> Chopping through, oh, that's a lot of troops. There's about 600 men in that blob. Withdraw. Withdraw at speed.
Let's draw and let's use the firepower of our infantry to even the odds. Massed artillery fire onto this blob. Start getting picked off by our infantry as they advance up the hill. Shrapnel's no good. Go on, Freikor, reload. Got face and reload. Keep engaging your dervishes. Okay, so it's only this. I mean, they're still stacking them in back here. Back here. Skirmishes withdraw. Assuming that's the end of this army. Retrieve my skirmishes because they're running low on numbers and ammunition and everything, pretty much. Howitzers, re engage. My Freikos pushing up, ready to help fend off the Gurkha attack. Okay, now they are going to pursue the Gurkhas. I think my own artillery is causing upset and limber the guns. Bring my grenadiers over. Just try to shatter them. Just so they don't come back. We don't need the generals. It's going to be artillery in next. Isn't it? I didn't really set it up. Okay, cavalry is going to push. Rikor cavalry is pretty useful. As is heavy cavalry, or they're going to advance towards their rear areas. Face. Lots of bowmen. Bowmen are cheap, but they are not very good. You're having a grand time mopping up those Gurkhas. We can kill the Gurkhas that they will not be able, well, they aren't able to recruit anymore, so that's why I particularly want to destroy them. Oh, they're shattered. They're shattered. Hit the bowmen to make sure they die. These gunners are going to engage the enemy guns on the hill. They're going to do the same. Commit the hussars. Retarget my howitzers against the levy. Again, your job is just to try and shatter rather than destroy. I think they may have finally ran out of men. So we're going to charge him with my Freikor, give them a volley, and then charge. 
probably give them a give them a volley on the charge. Take them on. Ooh, quick maybe hit just in time. Oh, it's a switch to round shot. Bring in my heavies. Missiles, go for the guns. This artillery ceasefire. They are starting to focus more on my cavalry rather than my actual troops, which is always a good sign they don't really know what to do. Okay, let's get away from the bowmen. Technically speaking, I suppose that's probably the tactical position. Get up on the, the ground here. The cuirassier. Go for two, that unit of two fangy. My frog will go for this unit. My hussars have knocked out the guns. Everyone else go after this unit of levy. Not flying. Yep, yeah, they do not. Uh, I do not believe this is an army that will endure. Not flying again. Artillery ceasefire. How it says ceasefire. Excellent, and we are going to pursue. I'm not expecting miracles. The only unit I really want to knock out are these Gurkhas. We own Kashmir, but they can't rebuild anymore. Maybe bring my general over here. Because they have spread out. Spread out a lot. Come on. They got the two fangy. going after the levy. Well, I'm fairly sure it looks like they are going to successfully escape, especially because the Gurkhas, there's one here, and there's one over here, so at least one of them will escape. Let's do as much damage as we can, but they, they're all spread out too. Keep on chasing them down. Now uh, we we're working our way towards them. That wasn't a close victory, that was a great victory. Nice. So we killed half of their force, which isn't bad. Forcing everyone back up into the hills. Nice, Mr. Goodman, you replenish. Mr. Leitner. Um, I think we are going to fight that, but just a second, guys. I need to go sort of... And I'm back. Right. Let's take out Lahore. Yeah, so I've got some chicken carcasses in the oven for the browning. I've just added a whole bunch of extra veg, and then I'm going to make it into a chicken stock. So I <laughs> Uh, the sooner I get it on the hob, uh, simmering away, the better. Or at least the sooner I can forget about it. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Plenty of foot artillery here. The enemy units that are coming in are not super useful. Basically, I want to... 
blast a hole in there as quick as I can and then run in. I'm actually not going to wait. I'm going to move up rapidly because I want to... If I can't... While I'm bashing my way in, I want to try and secure any gates I can. Aha! Oh, they're almost 50% damage already. I'm going to lose a lot of men doing this. My god, it'll be worth doing. Let's get some of my men, give them orders to attack. I want to get my Jaeger on this side. probably want a bunch like these guys to just run straight around ignore the attack Let's see if I can get my interesting does that not do we not get a breach there that's, in, that's very curious. I don't know. That was a thing. But we will get a breach. Reload. running too. No, it's supposed to be attacking attacking the walls. It's all of my cavalry storming. All of you guys storming. They can't stop all of us. Don't even care that it's Jaegers first. I want to get in, and get to that gate. You men start scaling the wall. These three units, get up there and block that gate. Run! Don't walk, run! Human might secure that gate. Hopefully the cavalry have the mass to run through. My freak oh, just shot everyone in the back. Push. and secure this gate at rapid speed. You men are going to secure this gate at rapid speed. Ah, they're bogging us down. Gracia, get out. Drop quick climb on us if they like. 
look, they're climbing. Why are they? Ugh. Why are they climbing down? The fastest way to get there is along the wall. Again, it's all of this. I can't make a second breach. Damn it, I tried to run, I tried to storm through, but it wasn't going to happen. Especially now these guys appear to not get the problem they are supposed to solve. Run, run, run. Okay, right, cavalry guys. All my cavalry. Run. Run in. Ignore the fight. See, they're wheeling around. Because if my cavalry ignore the fight, it will it will prevent our frame rates from dropping quite so much. And you men run along. Secure the gate. I'm sure I turned my fry core to fire it will off, but maybe I didn't, because a whole bunch more cavalry just died. Oh, Chevalier, they can yeah, they're killing a lot of my own cavalry. They'll never suspect. Come on, Chevalier. Attack the levy. Just aren't getting it. There we go. You may engage the horsemen. No, don't waste your time fighting in the breach. There's loads of infantry there anyway. See, this hasn't gone quite to plan. I mean, we will inevitably win, but not what I had in mind. Especially these guys electing to... Why are you walking? Run, 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 run! I don't want them over here slowing down my capture. Push the two fangy. And they're still walking. Why are you why are you running that way? You're gonna go here. I want you to secure the gate. Well, that, they're going to do some damage, the Seat Warriors, but not enough damage. We shiver as air. Get out of the fight. There we go. So we own this gatehouse. And you're going to run over. We own all the gatehouses, so now they can't actually get in unless they attack the very breaches that we've made. So let's take all of our guys and just say. Ignore the breach, run in. Because that's what's causing it all to slow down. Like, yeah, look, as soon as I say no, you know what, just run in. <laughs> Keep the marines around because they love a good old scrap. But everyone else, eh, just, just get in. Poor old you guys, you're just in a big old scram. Building captured barracks. It's 
even if you're just even if you're just fighting out away from the breach in general, it's just better. Okay, push out through the gatehouse then. You're going after these last cavalrymen. Hopefully. Lots of my cavalry died because my own Gervish cavalry were just shooting them in the back. A lot of dead horses, and they're all mostly mine. And a lot of my cavalry is officially stuck. So they're always going to be drawn back to here to fight, regardless of what happens elsewhere. But look, like, mag like iron filings back to the magnet. They're like, no, no, no. So you know what? You can fight here if it makes you happy. Look at this poor guy. I mean, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, the only place they can actually attack now is in through... Oh, that doesn't help. That bogs things down. But yeah, all they can do is attack through this breach, exactly where we've just come from. Because we own the gates. And if this went on for longer, I would just go inside, form a little defence, get guys up on the wall here to shoot at them as they come in, and along here to shoot them as they run around to the breach. But as it is, we'll take this incredibly messy victory, because it did not go... Ultimately, I should have made more breaches, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to see if I could do it quickly. There we go. So you're going to take attack this these remnants... A thousand men that cost us a turn to attack to auto resolve that last action. Two men replenish. Mr. Barber, push up front. Mr. Eichberg is in a good position. Can you leave Srinagar? Minus two. Every single girl I can recruit, I want to recruit. And I'll leave exemptory from tax. Actually, he stay here because you can't actually get get to him yet. But dismantle the madrasa, build better roads, upgrade the farm, repair the Iron Master's forge, and destroy the university. So then our agent, or one of our agent, no, our rake rather. Can get eyes on Nagpur. I miss you now by the desire You're going on to Hyderabad. You're going on to Nagpur. Oh, they're so, oh, they're so unhappy. The war weariness is high. They are very unhappy with what's going on. Pretty ideal. You're going on to Satara, even though technically we probably don't need it. You're going on into Udaipur. You've got religious happiness. Oh, so you've got a madrasa. A madrasa plus religious people. So let's start to try and take them out. You are going to Medabad. Same deal. Religious agents. You're gonna try cover the bridge. I mean, I'm very curious to see what they do now because they've we've just smashed them. If I move you up to here, I, they might not be able to intercept to destroy the church school. Actually, no, we're already building a church school. You don't need to. Slow and steady conversion, that's what we want. Let's repair the pleasure garden. You're being repaired. Sepoy troops. Let's go up to Calcutta. There we go. 
cool. So let's hit in turn, see what they do. I think anything I recruit in Munich is going to go to the Americas. Everything in India I'm going to build is going to be native Indian units, largely. May have some European artillery. Some adjustments. I'm going to have to hold on to a Baraband because the rebels are coming. You're going to try and head north. You, are you going to try and pick up an army? No, you're going to attack some of my raiders. Thank God, for a minute I thought they were going after an, an army I'd forgotten about. And the figure may as well auto resolve because we're churning them out really quite quickly. And I think it's, we may as well build more to increase our ability to raid their ports rather than particularly worry about any one ship. Keep churning them out, keep maintaining the blockade. As we advance, that blockade is only going to get stronger. So that's a bummer. They cancelled our plans to destroy. Ooh, Mysore is beginning to rebel. That will not save them. They will also be absolved into the Catholic faith and become part of the Bavarian Empire. Ooh, you've stepped up to attack us, have you? Well, looking at the timer, I believe that's probably going to be time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Actually, no, wait, that might not be true. Just sadly, it is true. So this is where we're going to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to see you next time for another whole bunch of Indian slaughter. And this is what it's going to be like for the next few episodes. See you next time, everyone. Mm -hmm.